Gentlemen, I just want to express uh, my appreciation to all of you for taking part in this effort. I think the words which the Vice President uh, just stated uh, reflect the national interest in its highest form. We have uh, dealt in these plans for progress in the past with those companies which uh, have contracts with the national government, and therefore they have been subjected to certain legal obligations. This is not true of all that are here today, and you're accepting this as a uh, moral obligation and as a obligation of citizenship. So I want to commend you and to tell you that we appreciate it very much. This is a national problem. We can't permit uh, through the 60s an important uh, segment of our population to be denied an opportunity to find decent jobs, to be the first to be unemployed, the last to be rehired, and uh, to uh, be at the bottom of the ladder and regard that as an acceptable uh, situation. And it is a fact today that uh, they are the first to be thrown out and the last to be rehired. Partly that goes back to the problem of education, uh, which is a, another national problem which we're attempting to meet. It will require uh, some effort on your part. I don't think it's just a question of signing the certificates and indicating a willingness to accept uh, people if they have the talent. I think we probably have to uh, do more than that. We really have to go out and uh, look for them because uh, uh, they won't uh, be able, in, in, in uh, sufficient cases, to uh, uh, find you. I think you have to find them. So it, I hope that the signing of these uh, plans for progress is really only the beginning. I know that your companies have been in interested in this matter in the past, but I hope that with the signing of this agreement that uh, you will make a deliberate effort, that you will assign people in your company to really see if in a period of six months or a year we can really statistically improve the situation in every company. I think there's been nothing more impressive than what I've seen done in these companies that over the past year really has been an extraordinary contribution to our country. And if you can try to see uh, if you com your companies can do the same thing, assign people who have the responsibility, keep uh, good records, and let's see whether in a period of six months or a year uh, we can uh, really improve our national uh, posture in this regard. This does require a constant effort. We are concerned continually in the government uh, with uh, people in foreign service, ambassadors, all the way through our government. And it does require someone to keep watching it and to see where we stand. So I do uh, want to thank you. And as I say, I'm sure that if we meet in six months or nine months <coughs> or a year, with your help, we can really make a contribution in the best voluntary sense between the government and uh, the people, working for a very important national objective. So I want to thank you and to tell you that uh, it's most appropriate that this, these agreements should be signed here at the White House because uh, it represents a very important element of our national progress. Thank you.